Good afternoon, everybody. Matter of fact, it's actually evening time right now. Today, I'm going to go over how to use a jet boil. Uh, I have an MSR jet boil right here. I need something real quick, though. I need something to start a fire with. Didn't keep you waiting too long. You gotta have a fire in order to start the jet boil. So there's a couple components that you have to have uh, when you're going to cook with a jet boil. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have the titanium pot, but I will tell you, it is a good idea. If you are eating on the run and you are taking a quick break and you're gonna eat, Obviously, if you're cooking in a metal pot, it's going to get very hot. By metal, I mean like an aluminum pot or something like that. That's going to retain heat very well. Uh, that's going to be a problem because you're not going to be able to just throw a super hot pot in your backpack. Or, I mean, I guess you could carry it around until it cools off. But the good thing about these is they heat up fast and they cool really fast. This is the one that I have. Uh, I've got a few of them, but what is this? C to Summit. I like this one. I just hook it on a little carabiner on the bag, as you saw in the video. Uh, but you need to have some sort of a cooking pot. Uh, so this one just swings out like so. There's a little latch here that you just push down. And, well, you really got to push it. Yeah. Turns into like a cool little pot here. You can just leave it like this and hook it onto your bag, or you can fold it back up. It has a little lid on it. You will be surprised how incredibly light this thing is. Exactly. So, other thing you will need is the actual cooking top for the jet boil. And you just open it like so. As you can see, all the legs come out. And then it has a threaded bottom to it. And you have the actual gas itself. The Isopro, MSR Isopro. Um, as far as, it has like all the list of things. So obviously if you are a moron, you will want to read the list of things not to do with this, but I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. So all you do is you have your, your top and you have your gas, and you're just going to thread the top onto the gas like so. And once it's on nice and snug, then you can go ahead and open up the feet. And then there's a little flange or a little uh, kind of wire here. You just kind of flip it out. This is what you use to control the intensity of your gas. So that's kind of like the uh, flow regulator right here. Again, all super compact. You can even put this, when you're carrying it around, you can even put, put the gas into this and put the top, obviously you would have this unscrewed, but as you can see, it fits in there. So if you unscrew this for space saving, you can kind of keep it all in one if you'd like, if that were to tickle your fancy. So we've got this set up. Now let's angle the camera down so we can see how, we, how we're doing this over here. So we've got our pot, we've got our, I just have water here, but you could have whatever, soups, um, chicken, I usually do like chicken, beans, stuff like that. Kind of dump it in there. Don't want to make it too full just for this demonstration, but you have your gas hooked on and you will just go ahead and turn on the valve and you'll hear it. Can you hear it? Boop. There you go. As you can see, it gets pretty intense, but you'll just pop the pot on top here, put the lid on top, and put your love on top. 
and that's it. It just cooks and it should boil it pretty quickly. Like I say, it usually takes a few minutes uh, to boil everything. You can really feel the heat coming out there. And that is all you gotta do. Take the top off occasionally, stir whatever you want in there, if it's like a stew or something like that. If it's water, you just leave it alone, let it boil. And you see it's all, gas is working. You can try to add a little more heat if you wanna cook it faster. Turn down heat if you want it to do more of a simmer. Uh, it is a little awkward as far as like, there's nothing like keeping this on here, right? So it's just balancing on here. It's just the weight of what is on here. So when I'm sailing or something like this, I have to like, I've taped this down. I've done all sorts of stuff just to get it in a stable configuration. I've even had to like hold it and hold this top on it you know, hold the pot on the top in order to keep everything uh, in line and not tipping over. But that is set up. So when you're done, you just simply turn the valve till the gas is completely off. Take off the top. It's already quite steamy. It's not boiled yet, but again, we're just showing the example here and that Ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up a jet boil to cook. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you want to subscribe, hit the notification button. If you want to be notified, hit the thumbs up button. If you like what we're doing, hit the thumbs down button. If you hate what we're doing, leave a comment if you have any questions. And leave a comment if you want to just leave some hate too. That's cool too. And I'll see you next time.